Welcome to RafflePress, the best WordPress giveaway plugin to grow your email list, website traffic, and social media followers with viral giveaways and contests. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Facebook giveaways in 2024, and I'll show you how to do that with the giveaway actions. This will help you grow your Facebook page and gain more followers. The first thing you want to do is head over to rafflepress.com or click the link in the description below and grab your copy of RafflePress. I'm going to be using the pro version in this video. You can then log in and install the plugin. If you need help with this, there's a link in the description below on how to install RafflePress. Here I'm inside the WordPress dashboard. And on the left-hand side, I already have RafflePress installed. We're going to go here under RafflePress and add new. At the top, we need to give the contest a name. I'll just call this maybe Facebook giveaway. And below here, it asks us to select a template. This will just automatically add some of the actions for us, how people can enter that giveaway or contest. Since we want to grow our Facebook page, we can select this one right here use this template. So here on the right hand side, we can see a preview of what our giveaway will look like. And down here, we can see the Facebook actions that it added for us automatically. So on the left hand side, we have details, actions, design, and settings. At the top, we have template, setup, and publish. So we already did the template. Now we're on setup and we're on details. We'll go through these on the side. First thing, we can click right here on the title and we can change the name, the description, and we can add an image here. So let's go ahead and do this. Here I have my new name. I have the description and I'm just going to click here to select an image. Here we can upload a new file and I'm just going to drag and drop the new image that I created. You can use whatever photo makes sense for your giveaway. I'm going to select the image on the left hand side here at the top and click choose image at the bottom right. Next, I'm going to click on done editing. Of course, you would customize your giveaway to whatever your prize is. It can be something simple as a gift basket or a full trip, whatever you're deciding on giving away. The idea here is to focus on the Facebook actions and to get people to sign up and follow you. On the left hand side, we have the start and end date. So we can select the date here and the end date, as well as the time zone here that you can select. Once you're happy with everything, let's be safe and just save here at the top right. And then we'll click on actions on the left hand side here. So this is where you can add the Facebook actions, which are already added, but you can add more as well. So for example, if you want to add somebody to your email newsletter, you can add this as an action or an extra one, and then you can go through these and click on them. So if I click on the first one, you can see on the left hand side that the options change. So here you can have visit on Facebook and you can assign a value. So consider these entries for the actual contest. So if they do this one, they'll get two entries and we can make it mandatory. And you can allow daily entries and then put the URL to your Facebook page right here. The next one is view Facebook post or video. Again, you can assign a value. We'll say two points for this one, make mandatory. And then you'd post the Facebook post or video URL right in here that they have to watch. And then we have join an email newsletter. Again, you have the value trigger on sign up. So you can have this trigger an integration with one of your favorite third party email marketing services if you prefer. Or you could turn this off. You can also display an opt in confirmation box as well as the integration down here as well. Okay, great. Once you're happy with your actions, you can add more if you like by clicking on actions here and add as many as you like and click on save just to be safe. And then on the left hand side, we'll click on design. Here we have a few options where we can change the design a little bit. So here's the layout. You can change it so that the image is at the top if you prefer that look. You have some fonts here that you can change. So we have Baloo, Amaranth. There's a bunch of different options here. We also have the button color, and that'll be for the use your email. So let's go ahead and click on this. And maybe I could use a blue to match the blue water, whatever makes sense for you. We also have the page background here. So I can change the solid color, or we can have a background image if you prefer. I'll go with a solid color, maybe something with a turquoise or some color that's related to the theme of this. We also have custom CSS here at the bottom. Lastly, we have the settings on the left-hand side. So here we have general. We have the Facebook giveaway name here. You can change this if you like. Here's the page permalink. So I could maybe just call this giveaway or whatever makes sense for the URL that you wanna share on social media. Here we can hide the total entries if you wanna do that. You can show the winners. You can limit signups per IP. So there's a couple options here. You can support RafflePress by showing a link to RafflePress on your giveaway. And you can join our affiliate program if you like. We also have giveaway rules. So here you can use the rules generator template. You can put in your information here and this form will help you generate the rules. You just click the generate rules and there you go. You can follow this here. Make sure you're following all of your local laws regarding giveaways as well. We also have automation here if you want to install Uncanny Automator. This will help you do very cool things when people join your contest. You can trigger different events and you can fully customize that. So check out Uncanny Automator right here. You can install that and play with it. We also have email verification. This is pretty straightforward. If you want contestants to confirm their email, you can turn this on or off and there's different options here. We have success tracking if you want to post onload scripts and conversion scripts. We have a success redirect if you want to turn this on and the redirect URL is right here. We also have social logins if you want to allow people to log in to sign up to your giveaway. You can use Facebook, so we can turn allow logging in with Facebook here. You will need a Facebook app ID and you can click the link here to find out how to get that. 
On the left, we also have GDPR. So you can turn the consent on here and paste in your consent text in the form. And we also have a reCAPTCHA. If you want to enable the invisible reCAPTCHA, you can turn this on. You will need a site key and a secret key. And again, there's another link here that you can click on to learn on how to do this or get these keys. And lastly, for more advanced users, we have webhooks, which you can enable. And we have a webhook here. You can put the request URL, the format, the request headers, and to add a new header if you like. You can add more or multiple webhooks if you like. When you're done, let's go ahead and save this and we'll move to the publish section. And now we have three different ways to display the giveaway that we just created. So we can use a WordPress block, you can use a short code, or we have the giveaway landing page. The giveaway landing page is the easiest because it's already done. This is the URL that we customized earlier. And if we click view page, we'll actually see the giveaway. And you can just go ahead and copy this and start sharing this giveaway with anybody on all your social media networks. So here's the page and we can see the full complete contest. This is a standalone page. And that's it, you can just share this and off you go. If you'd like, inside of WordPress, you can use the short code or the block to post this giveaway in any post or page. So let's go ahead and take the short code, for example, and I'll copy this. And let's make sure we save this and we'll close this. So here in the left-hand side, we have posts and we have pages. And the process that I'm about to show you will work for both posts and pages in the exact same way. Let's go ahead, we have a test hello world post here. And I'll click on edit and here we can see the actual post. So if I want to put a short code in here, we can do a forward slash. I'll start typing short code and we can see that here. I'll click on this and then we can just simply paste the contest code right in here. The raffle press ID equals six. Let's go ahead and update this and we'll preview this page. This is just a test page. So here we can see our actual website and here's the blog post. And inside of this blog post, I've put the contest right in here. So maybe you could create a post on your blog about a new contest or a giveaway a little bit more information, and then you could actually embed this right into the post itself. Okay, let's come back to the post here and edit this. And I'm gonna select this and just delete this because there's actually an easier way. Instead of using the shortcode, we can do forward slash and start typing raffle press. And we have our own block here that we can add into the post. And this is great because you don't need to copy anything. You can just select the drop down menu and then select the giveaway that you created. So now we have Facebook giveaway, and this will embed this directly into your post or your page. And again, you just update this and let's go ahead and preview the post. Here you can see the posts and you have the exact same result and it's embedded into the post. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you grow your Facebook. Please leave a like if you found this helpful. Leave a comment. We love hearing from you and subscribe to the channel. Check out these videos to learn more about RafflePress. Now it can help you and your small business.